Uh, Dwayne asks, Martin, Marty Netchish, did I finally say his name right? Netchish. Woo! Netchish. Uh, Netchish. I think I said it right this time. Uh, is creeping up the Rookie of the Year chart under the radar of many. What are his chances? Also, do you see Carolina acquiring the top six forward we need that may send us to the finals? Thanks. Uh, it's interesting. So, so Netchish, I think, you know, got, gained really valuable experience, obviously, with uh, the best team in the AHL last year uh, as a playmaker. And Carolina kind of slow-cooked him, and I think he's arrived more of a fully formed product. And I don't think it's a huge surprise that he's starting to gain momentum. To me, the question is, you know, is even if he shows a lot of improvement as a rookie, is just a more dynamic rookie going to outdo him? I think that's probably going to be the case. We've talked about Kale McCarr, uh, and Quinn Hughes is really starting to find it as well, and I think oh, he's really boy. changed the personality of, mm. of Vancouver. And yeah. it's been, and then of course there's Jack as well. But I think Quinn to me has don't been the more. Don't sleep on Jack. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah. It sounds cra- isn't it crazy though? Don't in November sleep on Jack we're saying don't yeah. sleep on Jack Hughes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I think that Netchez still has some pretty significant competition, but he's been a great story. Uh, and then as for the trade element, uh, I, I, I think Carolina's in it. And they still, even after trading Justin Falk because they got Edmondson back, they still have that surplus on defense. So they still have an area of surplus to trade from. Like I always reference a guy like Jake Bean, someone like that, that they can dangle as part of a deal if they're chasing it. And I think they will. I think this is a year where you, should, you could see Don Waddell get, get uh, aggressive, feisty. feisty at the trade deadline. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think Carolina is in a good position right now. They have a pretty deep system. They've been a very good drafting team. Um, as for Neshish and the Calder, when it comes to forwards and the Calder, it pretty much comes down to points. Yeah. So I, I don't think it's really a, a, a personality thing or a, a style thing. If you've got the points, then it's all yours. The the deciding factor this year is because you've got some pretty dynamic defensemen in McCarr and Quinn Hughes, um, it might not come down to raw points but it, you have to make that sort of you know calculus of okay well you know Makar had 50 points how does that stack up against you know Jack Hughes having 65 and you, you look at their ice time and their impact on their team and things like that so that w- that's what makes it an interesting race but I don't think you know Netish will be at any disadvantage uh, if he can get the numbers yeah I think I think that if Kale Makar continues to play the way he's played in the first quarter of the season, he's going to win. Mm-hmm. He's going to win, regardless of what anyone else does, unless Quinn Hughes just goes bonkers. Yeah. And and I, I'm not sure that that's going to happen. I think there will be a fatigue factor there at some point. Uh, he's already been injured, you know, once, and you know, you know, you can't obviously can't can't account for that. But but uh, I, I think I think I think the Calder Trophy is was and continues to be Kale McCars to lose. Yeah. Uh, and so even if he, you know, if he plays the way he's played now, which has been great, um, he's going to win. Um, with respect to the rest of uh, the the question, with respect to Dwayne the, what, Dwayne Ham's question, whether they whether they go whether they go for it here or not, yeah, I mean they've got a good system. They won the Calder Cup last year. Um, they've got some things they can they can dangle for, say a Taylor Hall. Yeah, that's the name that I thought yeah. of. As I was talking, yeah. I was like, oh, I should have mentioned Taylor what about, Hall. Uh, if we're talking about Minnesota, what about bringing repatriating uh, Eric Stahl? Oh, that'd what be kind of that? fun as a depth Ooh. as a depth. Center. Eric and Jordan. Yeah, that would be the first time they've ever. No, no, they played together. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. They played together. Because they even brought Jared up for a game. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What of course. That? that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? That'd be fun. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Maybe not. I don't Maybe know. Well, I, I don't think. I, I don't see, know. I, I think if, if you're That's Carolina, <laughs> yeah, you're big game it. hunting. If you're Don Waddell, like, I think Carolina's reaching the juncture now where yeah, you're. Yeah, but big need, game, big game. You talk about that, but at the trade deadline, it's always that under the radar trade that ends up being yeah. the big difference. The Michael Hanses. Right. The yeah. Michael Kempneys. The, yeah. Yeah. Those you're right. guys. Yeah, you know? it's true. It does happen. You're right. It's a fair point.